Hey what's going on people, welcome to another video on the channel and in today's video we're actually going to do a uh, tutorial type of thing where we're going to go over how to set up a live stream overlay and uh, stream labels and you know stream notifications towards the Elgato software because that is the software that I use. I use the Game Capture HD one which is um, at the bottom right there and if I load it up this one. Uh, this is the software that I actually use. I do have Streamlabs OBS but I haven't gotten used to that one just yet but this one's the one that I use so if people do know this is the screen that I use. Hey how you doing? Um, this is the one that I use. Nice. <laughs> um, but I've got different setups that one's disappeared um, but this is how I do mine. So these ones are stream labels that one should be working but it's not working and I usually have a stream notification and all this is out of line and all that but in today's we're actually going to be doing a extra one we're going to be making a another one which we're going to just um, edit this one get rid of all these things get rid of it get rid of it and get rid of that one so that means we've got a completely clear one that one is going to be our middle right one so that one's going to be the thing for the middle right so if we get straight into it uh, if we close that one for now we'll minimize it and um, we'll start off with what you will need so the first thing that you will need is GIMP or a image editing software so that means you can make your overlay so that means it's not as basic as what you usually have so um, if you do want a you know a webcam or uh, little tabs on the side then you could use that the second thing that you will need as well is a Streamlabs account so if people don't know what Streamlabs is you can get it for free um, if I open that one put it onto this one Streamlabs is a place where you can have up all your little notifications that pop up alert boxes and as well you can get the uh, stream labels from here so if you click that one it downloads it and it allows you to have a separate app which allows you to have stream labs so this is the stream labels labels um so if we close that a second uh this is very confusing i know uh but this is the software that i use to notify people as a little label that goes across the bottom of my screen which shows off my follows and my recent subscribers. So those two are the ones that pop up, as you can see from the bottom left being my YouTube one and my bottom right being my um, Twitch one. So for starters, uh, all those things are the things that you need. So you need a editing for images, uh, you need uh, Streamlabs and Stream Labels accounts, as well you do need a software to use it so you can use streamlabs obs easy to do easy as hell um i just use game uh, capture hd so it makes it easier and it's with the elgato so for starters i would say make yourself a face cam overlay type of thing mine is insanely easy to do all mine is just boxes i figured out what the size is that i need for like i don't know for where i want my face cam so this is where my face cam is going to go i have my little logo just at the top by there and then underneath here is where i have my sub count so the sub count is the thing that you've seen on the other thing right here which you just go to this one you type in your name so um i have to do this from a distance and one-handed so I'm sorry it will show up with my sub count so straight away simple done you can find out about any of these really so as well for the I use GIMP for my editing thing because it's free it's completely free it's just a dumbed down version of Photoshop but um it's I've, I've used it for like four years so it's it's pretty handy but for my bottom two things those are both for where my alerts goes so my labels so i mean they do a scroll effect so the text just goes from there to there for both those two sub count is by there and face cam is by there and i usually have my alerts going off like by here in the corner somewhere so that means it's not overdoing the whole scene too much um it's kind of simplified i mean it's not covering too much of what people are going to be seeing as well you can have it like top there there the middle or anywhere you want it i've got every single location that i've gone apart from the bottom two corners it's completely fine so i don't want to go over all the you know face cams and all of that type of stuff i've done a tutorial on that ages ago but um we're going over all of the streamlab stuff so for alerts um you all you got to do make an account go to the alert box 
part of it and then you get a full thing so that means you can connect it via Twitch and YouTube so I've got them both all you gotta do to have that button is to go on to account settings or merge your accounts and you've got them both straight away now for all of the settings that you can have um, I um, it's a little bit different so these are the general settings that I've got so my general settings is that I have the text by there and then all the other well I have um, the background as just nothing so it makes it easier so that means it's just blanked out and mainly because you can just set it to nothing at all uh, I've got the alert delay to be at two seconds you can have it as nothing because that means it just pops up straight away I just have minus two just that means I have time I know when it rotates my um, subscriber count I know when it's coming through as well my layout I do have an image and then my text underneath it makes it a little more easier to have and you know it, it makes it a little bit bigger you can just have it as text you can just have it as that um, I, I'll test it out with like this just for now I'll save settings just like that and we'll try it out so for my follows I have it towards a fade down and a fade up for my things you can customize it any way you want you can have any of these there's so many different types that you can have but for myself i do just have the fade in fade down and um you know the fade out up so it makes it easier it makes it better uh you can have the sound effects so the sound effects come free as charge to this one you have different types i just have this uh, uh, the success chime when it comes up a yoshi coming up and it says the name and the follow so all my alerts that pop up on the screen are all for just twitch i don't have it for youtube and uh, you know I don't really see the benefit of having it on YouTube because it'll go off quite a bit if you have a lot of subscribers you don't have that many uh, followers on Twitch that pop up so I would rather have that for my sound I just thought it was too high I have about 20 and then the alert duration I have it about seven seconds uh, you can go for different fonts you can go for different alert variations you can have anything you want so for all of these I go for Oswald and the font size of that and you know that size that one alert variations you can download different types as well for subscriptions uh, exactly the same just uh, goes on for six seconds a higher volume because it is a you know a follow instead uh, a subscribe instead not a follow and for donations seven seconds 36 because it's the bigger thing and then I just have it for bits as well which I have a cat why not so if we uh, start it off with just uh, going on to uh, bloody um, Elgato game capture we'll go into that one we'll go into edit scenes uh, let's make it big but you've got to can't do that one uh let's make it big and we'll add in some scenes so as a starter you need to add in the overlay so for myself i have images and i have all of these so i've got one two three i've got six different types uh we're going to go for this side for today's and we're gonna have to try and put this in and there it is right to make it uh one one thousand nine hundred and twenty by 1000 or oh, 1080 try and make it that one so 1920 by 1080 you can make it all like this and um, it fit in perfectly so now if we add in our face cam um, yeah let's see my ugly mug again uh, <laughs> so for this one um, we're gonna have to crop it down a little bit mainly because it doesn't fit properly um, when you put it in so if we just uh, crop that out, crop that out that side, crop that out that side, um, make it higher that side, if it will, um, it might not, and it might do. I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm a little bit out of practice, let's just say that one. I'm just making it perfect towards the screen. So for this layer, Hi. Um, we're gonna have to bring it down so if we bring it down and it goes underneath the overlay thing so the face cam is gonna be underneath the overlay it's not gonna be the underneath underneath layer it keeps on going full screen don't know why but it's not gonna be the bottom layer it's gonna be the second bottom layer because the bottom layer is the game capture second bottom layer is gonna be the face cam then the third layer the middle layer is gonna be the overlay so now also remember to save every single layer so just to you know make sure that you've actually got every single layer available to every single part so if we go on to the other bits now so if we 
add in our subscribe account, which is what I always do. So what you'll do is copy that bit, go onto your Elgato. Um, we'll make it full screen again to make it a little bit easier. So we've got to edit, uh, add in a layer, and then we'll go on to add web page. So we've already got it back here, so we'll just add in like that. Uh, for ourselves, we're going to have to do that, uh, crop it down. So that means you don't have the bottom bit, and you're just left with the light blue background for your whole thing so it does depend on how far you are through your subscribers mine is under a thousand still so um, <laughs> you know I don't have to have in that much room for mine so if we have that one you got a lovely image of just my face um, then we go on to the button right next to it and we'll enable chroma key so the chroma key thing it allows us to get rid of backgrounds same as anything else so like that you can can't really see anything and now you can because we got rid of the background you can make it transparent you can make it anything uh, for myself i like to have no you know background towards it i like it a good size as well so that means it's not filling up too much of that space um so we'll make it about that size just that means it's got enough room to move around so that one is going to be on top of everything else otherwise you can't see anything so we've got that one that's done there's our subscribe account now if we put in our both our corner pieces um actually no we'll go for alerts first we won't do the labels just yet the labels will leave to last because labels are a little bit harder so for our alerts itself we're gonna have to edit layers um we'll leave that fully edited uh for our thing we're gonna have to copy that um i'm not gonna show off the link but you have to copy the link go on to here go on to this bit and do a another add thing so if we put in that one it might have might already have it because i've done it a couple of times um we'll just add in that one resolution automatic sure thing and we'll just add it in so for that that should be our things all sorted so if we put them up there we'll make it a little bit smaller because we don't know how these are going to work out uh, if we just save that see how that works out now if we have that to the side have that one here and if we no, actually put that side put it that side <laughs> let's pluck my face off a little bit now if we test a follow uh see if it comes up like that that's a little bit better than what i did have it before um i think the subscribe one yeah it's exactly the same donations exactly the same it works and then test bits completely works so that's completely fine it takes up a lot less room didn't realize it was that big last time i did it um now if we do our labels so our labels are the hardest bit to do i would say uh, it's not the easiest but it's not the hardest thing um for our labels itself we're gonna have to edit um add another overlay and we're gonna have to go on to text so for the text ones you're going to automatically update text from file um so when you make your stream label stuff it will automatically download everything so if we just Go away from that two seconds um if i show you guys so for the stream label stuff you're gonna have to go on to change output directions then you create a file set it from there to make it loads of easier then you go on to settings uh, i'm not going to show off the file that i've got because i've got there's a lot so for settings itself you get to choose what all of your stuff does so this goes through everything so it goes through youtube it goes through twitch um or anything that you've set up through uh, Streamlabs, you can just add it to this. So for myself, I just have my most recent subscriber and my most recent follower. So those are the two things that I only have. You can edit it all, you can add in different stuff, so that means I can add in that, and it adds in a name to the side, like that, and then that. We'll just get rid of that though. So it keeps on, it does say the most recent YouTube subscriber, and it does have other ones as well. Uh, let's try and find a most recent, uh, where's the follows, follows, follows. So these ones are Twitch ones. Um, we can't find my followers right now. Uh, where's, where's the, where's my followers at? <laughs> can't find my followers at this moment. Um, I, it is on there. Uh, trust me on that one definitely is on there for some reason it's just not showing up uh, but the followers ones is on there as well um, I think this one might be the YouTube only one so if we just get rid of that one for now um, I think it's 
like permanently logged into that one so if I log out go on to the Twitch one and you can change your followers one you can add in any text you want at the end of it you just got to make it like that so if we minimize that a second go back onto our thing and we'll do the add text so we do add text automatically update text from file uh, we choose the file for whatever file we want it to be so it automatically goes to this one I've got his live streaming and you go for most recent and remember to click on the YouTube one I made a massive mistake and did the most recent subscriber and that one's for Twitch um, YouTube subscriber is for YouTube itself so if we add in the YouTube one first I'll have that bottom corner so that's my most not really most recent one but it's the one that shows up so you can have it different you know colors different text you can have anything you want so I have it as black um, I get rid of background uh, I make it about that size oh, well let's make it about that make it about that size um, actually no let's just make it 48 it actually fits um, and then animate it this is how I do it so I scroll from right because YouTube one's right side so I scroll it from that side gonna get rid of the background again um, I keep on the outline because it makes it a little bit better and then the shadow um, I don't have the shadow on it so I don't have a shadow just have an outline so you add in that one if it does add it and it's that big so you can change it don't worry <laughs> it does change when you have to do it so make it that big and then for now we just do it like that so I think that is how it should be done so if we uh, make it about that big there you go so that actually has in the full thing keep that on top and then we do exactly the same for the twitch ones so we do exactly the same I don't have to tell you guys for this one Just showing you very fast most recent session session most recent follower <laughs> can't see it right so that one's there so 48 that one um, black um, do the animated first Let's scroll from left because it's coming from the left side uh, it makes it look better so that one outline like that uh, I would do bold but the bold is a little bit too much um, it is a tad bit too much. Uh, I might have done the settings a little bit wrong for that one. Um, now it is the right size. It just looks massive for some reason. Um, <laughs> it might change. Oh, it might just be because uh, it's a big name. Uh, it might just be because it's that. It makes more sense if it is that. Um, if we make it a little bit smaller, save it. Or maybe not. I don't know. Um, it's not properly setting it right on this one for some reason. Um, yeah, there you go. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit smaller for myself. There you go. There you go. All good. So there is our most recent Twitch follower, and there's our most recent YouTube subscriber. It's the easiest way to do it. It's very simple. Well, I should do it all so if you save it all it's all done I think so if we um, minimize that test out the follows just to make sure I always do this every single time I live stream just to actually make sure that it actually um, shows up everything on the screen so all of that is completely done I can now relax <laughs> and you know thank you guys for watching remember to like subscribe sorry if it's so long um, I decided to add in everything I could so if you want to see some more maybe some overlay ones and everything like that then you know comment down below and uh, I'll try it out I'll just, just um, get rid of my face a second there you go and you know I will try it out if you want to see some more kind of stuff like that then comment down below I'd like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one so peace out